Well, peace and light. It's a great day to have a great day. Welcome back to the ISR channel. It has been a long time since I posted, but what the heck? Why not? It is what it is. Um, and I'm not very great at um, being consistent in posting as, as much as I used to be. But I, within the last time that I've been on here, especially, there's been a lot of changes um, emotionally, personally, physically, mentally, all that other great stuff, right? And I'm in therapy and I um, had a very great realization. It was a moment of awareness, a moment of acknowledgement, a moment of peace, a moment of praise within myself that I figured, you know, it's important for me to come on here and share in terms of who I am and who I am, who I've been. And this post, I, I mean, this video is strictly for people who are strong, strong people. So it's very important that anyone and everyone is very clear on who they are, what they want, what they need, and what they're about. And I've been in therapy now for over a month, and it's helped me mentally, psychologically, emotionally, just be clear on what it is I want and so and who I really am. And for a long time, for since I can remember, I was raised and cultivated by strong black women, you know, not to negate the influence of the powerful, strong black man that men that's been in my life as well. But the forefront of my life, I've been taught I'm a very visual person. So visually seeing strong black women, my grandmother, strong black woman, my mother, strong black woman, my aunts, strong black women. So for a while, that's all I seen. And that's all I knew to be. And that's what I grew up essentially to be, to know and to love. So with that being said, it's like one of the compliments I've always taken was that you're so independent. I, you're so strong. You're so, you know, I am like the nucleus of the tribe that, I, that I'm in. Like people come to me with their issues. I am a natural born healer. And I lovingly embrace that aspect of me. And whenever I get the compliment of being so strong and so independent, you know, it's like I, I, I take that with a, as a badge of honor. Right. And so with that comes along of people who will use that to manipulate and hold that so that they feel like they don't have to do anything for you or because you just automatically got it. They just feel like, oh, she's going to be OK. That's why no one ever checks on like the strong friend. No one ever you know, sees how the strong friend is doing, how the independent friend is doing, because at the end of the day, they're going to be all right. They know that they, they got themselves and they don't have to worry about nothing. And because of that, <clears throat> I've adapted from young now that don't, nobody got me, but me, you know, me and God, that's all I need. God got me. I ain't got to worry about nothing else. Like, you know, because for, a tr from a trusting factor, from a person who has control issues, you know, it's not trusting people to actually come through for you when you most need them to. It's the controlling factor of, you know what, I'm not going to let this person get as close to me or uh, experience the vulnerable side of me because they're going to hurt me. They're going to leave me. They're going to do whatever, whatever. And I don't have to worry about that because at the end of the day, don't nobody got me but me. I think I've said that in every relationship that I've ever been in. Don't nobody got me but me. <laughs> And it's horrible. That is so horrible. Um, I remember in one of my past relationships, one of my exes was like, you don't need me. That's the problem. You act like you don't need me. And my response was simply, I don't. Because I've always felt that to be wanted is way much better and profitable than to be needed. If, if, if I don't need, if I need you, that means I can't function outside of you. I can't, you know, and I, I have grown to learn the lesson in that, to learn the lesson that it is important that for your partners and for your family and for your, you know, for those that are very close and intimate with you, that there is a certain level of being, of, of being needed that is conducive to both sides of the relationship. I know that now, but growing up and, and how I've navigated and, and adulted throughout my, you know, life these past couple of years, I felt like, you know, and transparently, I still feel a little bit like that. Like, I don't want to have to need anyone, you know, and with that comes the sacrifice of relationships and people, because if you don't feel needed, then what am I here for? Because that's exactly what she said. She dead, dead serious looked at me and was like, 
well, what am I here for? This is, and I didn't understand it then, but I, I got it, of course, after the fact. And the reality was, is that I did need her. I did, I, I was dependent. I become, especially in my intimate partnerships, I do become emotionally dependent sometimes. And it's happened twice. So I can say sometimes because it's happened more than once. Um, because as I'm growing up, I feel love differently, you know? Um, but going back to the whole being independent, it's like when someone says it to you, it's like, thank you. Yup. Mm-hmm. I did this. I got this. Yep. 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 This is all me and God. When you see me, you see God. All the only person I need, only person I really, really need in this lifetime is me and God. So yep, we did this. Thank you. You know, that's, that's the, that's the thought process, but that's because I've been conditioned to love being independent and that's not the case. When it comes to being controlling, right? And I, I've been having this conversation more recently. I do not want to be in control of a lot of things. I I want to be led in my partnerships, right? I don't want to always fuck. Because being in control, when I tell you, carries a burden. It, it's exhausting. It's tiring. I know this because I do it for my friends. I, I've done it in my partnerships. Uh, like it's always having to have the ball in your court. And that sounds all well and grand, but it is emotionally and mentally more than likely sometimes financially exhausting, you know? And so I don't want to always be in control, but it's about trusting people or having people within your space that you trust enough to let them lead and be in control. And for me, I personally am not going to relinquish my control to someone who has not shown that they can take control. It, it, it's just not with me, and I still stand by that. But also, through therapy, I find, well, I've learned and I'm learning that you have to relinquish that control. You have to relinquish that trust, that, that those trust issues that you have, so that you can allow people to show you that they can take lead, that they can take care, that they can whatever the case may be. And so I, I meditated and I find that I want, I am known for being able to take care of myself. I'm known for being able to handle any situation that comes, you know, my way. I think with the exception, any, strictly, speaking strictly in terms of partnerships, right? I have been awarded people in my life who have taken care of well, only just really one who's like really taking care of like household responsibilities, all that held me down when I was or lifted me up when I was down financially, mentally and emotionally. That's only been with through one partner. Um, but that came with the condition of because you're so independent, this is why I want to give you everything. And so I've I've carried this whole. All right. As long as I'm independent, you know, what I'm saying they're going to give me what I want. They're going to give me what I need. I ain't going to have to ask for it. And you know, that's not always the case. It's just not always the case. Uh, I think I've taken, well, <laughs> ugh, all right, I'm, gonna stop. I'm not even going to go there, but <laughs> um, I realized, bottom line is I realized that I want to be taken care of. I want to be able to be treated like the queen that I am. I want to be able to be taken care of mentally, emotionally, financially, all of that. Not saying that I want to be, uh, you know, someone who mooches off or leeches off someone who, because I have a lot of drive. I have a lot of ambition. I, I have my own goals and dreams that I aspire to. But I realize that I want my independence to be celebrated and appreciated, but at the same token, still being able to have, to be with someone who can foster that, yo, I got you. I'm going to take care of this. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Like that, that I realize that that's what I want and that's what I need. And with that, you know, I have to, you know, circle it back into, even with my mom, my mother will tell you in a heartbeat, Muka, which is me, will get any, can get anything she want from me financially, whatever she can get, whatever she wants because she don't ask me for anything. If she don't want to work tomorrow, I'm paying her for the day, which she's done before. Like if I didn't want to go to work one day, she'll be like, well, how much you make for today? All right. And she'll send it to me like, yo, don't go to work today. Cause you don't have to, because I don't ask for anything, but that is not how it should be all the time. You know, the reality of it is, is that you should ask for what you want. And I haven't been as transparent in any of my relationships when it comes to when it comes to that, you know, um, because I, I, I it's like we have been conditioned to live in fear of people of, of being looked down upon for people who want to be taken care of. 
you know, specifically within myself and the strong women that I surround myself with, the ladies in my trials, people that I come in contact with, even with my therapist, she said that she realizes the same thing. Like we have been taught and conditioned that we have to be so hardworking. We have to have all the answers. And you know what? There's no one that's going to wait on you hand and foot. There's no, there's no one that's going to take care of you. This is what you do for yourself. And this is what you do for others. And the reality of it is no, 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 no. Celebrate my independence. Don't use it as a manipulation tool to say, oh, I know she independent. I know she got this. So I don't have to do anything for her. I don't have to open her doors. I don't have to take care of her financially. I don't have to, because you know, I know she got it. That's not, that's that's a strong manipulation too that a lot of people use a, a lot. We can take it even deeper, even with your friends and your family that constantly come to you and say, okay, listen, I got this, I got these problems going on. How can I fix it? Because they know that the strong one or the independent one is naturally is the, is the fixer. I, when has it been okay for them, for you to go to them? Not saying that you can't, but have they offered? Yo, what can I take off your plate these days? Mentally, emotionally, whatever. What, what can I help you with? But they don't do that because you have made it known that what you want to do is be in control. What you want to do is take care of people. And you're, and that's okay, but I, what I'm saying to those of us, not all of us, but to those of us who are strong and want eventually or honestly transparently to be taken care of it is our duty and our obligation to sit there and let it be known these are our these are our requirements this is what we need in order to make this relationship conducive for the both of us this is what i need this is what i'm willing to do this is what i need you to do for me i don't think that the strong and the opinionated and the and the independent and the 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 leaders of the households within women and people in general are comfortable with their voices being heard in terms of the aspect of saying and stating being clear on what it is that they want and that's the issue that that's been my issue i have made it very clear on what i don't want i've made it very clear on what i want in every aspect outside of how I really want to be treated, how I really need to be treated from family, partnerships, friends, all of that. So we got to do better. We have to provide the clarity that we need from those around us. We have to be very transparent. We have to be very vulnerable. And full disclosure, there are, once you do this, there are there's a chance, a very good chance that there are going to be people who will drop like flies because they're not used to that person that you are in terms of being very honest and, and, and stand about what you want. There are people that just simply cannot fulfill your needs and, and desires and wants and they drop off and it hurts, but you'll be okay. And they'll be okay. In the long run, once it's like realizing, okay, they got, uh, they, they, they didn't level up here and I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, but I just ain't ready to get there yet. Or I don't want to get there yet. I, I'm not, that's not who I am. And that's okay. That's really okay. That's, it's their decision. When you're honest and you're open, you give people the decision to stick around or not, just like they should do with you. Right? So in conclusion, I'd like to say black lives matter. Justice for Breonna Taylor, justice for Ahmaud Arbery, <laughs> George Floyd, all of that. You know, that we live in a very crucial time, very, very, very crucial time. And we as a people are to be celebrated. We are to be acknowledged. We are to be aware of whom we are and govern and carry ourselves as such. I know that's a little bit off topic, but I just got to put that in there because of the times that we're in. And I'm very aware and I'm very sensitive to what's going on. So I had to put that out there as well. Be clear, but, be transparent. Once you realize who you are and you acknowledge who you are and you treat yourself according to who you are. Oh. It's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Peace, light, love, y'all.